All right, so there is my chariot, but not today. <laughs> you know, this is something I, a couple of things I wanted to show you real quick. You know, I talked about being an environmentalist. You know, this is a Yeti bottle. And I just get, get you a few of those and don't buy them stupid plastic uh, uh, water bottles. Now, this is a purchase that I made a while back. Now, hard to believe that cost $100, but here in Florida, you know, we don't really do recycling per se, but I shred my uh, aluminum cans, and then eventually I just take that bag out right there, and there's a place that pays me money. I only get a couple of bucks, but it's on my way to the bike trail. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to hit the trail and get another video today. A new section of the Florida Trail, woohoo! So this is it. This is the scrap metal place where I'm going to recycle the cans. Now I could just put them out in the recycle bin, but uh, yeah, you get a little bit of money this way. And plus this way I'm assured that they're going to uh, definitely be recycled properly. Uh, it used to be a structure right here burnt down. <laughs> I don't know what they did. You know, they said it was an electrical fire. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to run up here and then we'll get on the trail. All right, so we're... Uh, we're at the trailhead here, and uh, well, we've kind of done some of this, uh, if you recall. Let's just uh, swing around and I'll get you a look at the Santos trailhead. Uh, and by the way, the metal place was just down there. Now, one thing that, uh, that I, well, let's talk about the lockdown just a little bit. Now, you notice none of them guys are wearing masks. Anybody who works for a damn living, they ain't wearing the freaking mask. You know, you can't wear a mask and do scrap metal or do lumbering cutting down trees or anything like that. This is an appropriate place for everything. That's why this mandatory bullcrap is just bullcrap. Uh, now, if I go on a Walmart or something, of course I'm going to have a mask on. You know, common sense. Leave people to their common sense. But here, let's swing around. Now, during the lockdown, <laughs> they, they actually roped off the entrance right down here. And uh, what surprised me was how many people went along with that nonsense. You know, I just parked my car right over there. And just walked up in here and just did the trails, you know. And uh, the picnic shelters are up this way, and uh, they had those all roped off. Now, of course, I didn't need to use them. So, And then uh, what's nice here at Santos, you know, you got the bathrooms right here. So if you are harking the Florida Trail, you know, you're going to come right up by these bathrooms. And uh, here's the actual uh, kind of trail right here. The uh, Let me just kind of show you real quick. And, uh, you know, there's a picnic shelter. But there's a campground right here uh, right back in there you can kind of see one of the trailers right here and the trail goes off this way uh, by a little baseball park down there and then it gets out onto a road and then that gets over to where we've already done so we're not going to be doing any of that today uh, but yeah I, and what was what was bad during the lockdown was the Florida Trail hadn't been maintained but it did give me the opportunity to hike the bike trails back in here and what was shocking to me was I would have thought, you know, people who ride their bicycles would have just done the same thing I did and said, you know, screw you idiots. You know, I'm going to come back here and bike the damn trails. You can't just shut down the trail in the middle of the woods. That's just stupid. But, uh, all right, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hike up this path. And, uh, because I've already, you know, there's not much to see through here. No reason to hike through the woods. And then the trail's going to go back this way. And it kind of runs along the bike path. Uh, maybe we'll get some footage of the, uh, there's a biking area up here, which is pretty cool. I think I already got that in another video. So let's just get going. All right, so we're less than a quarter mile up the uh, the bike trail, which is right here. And a lot of times I'll just come get my exercise and just stay on the pavement here because there's not a lot to see with the Florida Trail. You can see this this little section here is that path that just goes on down. Now, if you, if you go right, that'll take you onto the Florida Trail and you'll go down by Sheriff Station on uh, 441 and then across that street and keep on going. If you make the left, that takes you up to the bathrooms. And uh, so we'll just kind of dive in right here. I got to show you, man, check out these headphones, man. I, I just bought these for the motorcycle or the auto motorcycle, as I, as I call it. And uh, they work, you know, like I said, they work up to about 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Any faster than that, they're going to blow right off your head. And uh, so let's swing back around, just kind of enjoy the trail. Just had a couple of, uh, <laughs> a couple quick stories. You know, I love telling stories, you know, that's the thing. If you're out here, you, you know, kind of feel like I'm with you, you know, because uh, I get to, to, to talk and then you just have to sit and watch and listen. It's your, 
uh, but that is the five people that watch these videos. But uh, anyway, so uh, you know that I just went on that huge trip up to Virginia, camping all along the way, trying to backpack. The rain rained the whole way. The weather was terrible, you know, and I kept looking for six months. I looked for backpacking gear, you know, I had some I had to buy some new stuff. Some stuff would had gone bad like the elastic, you know, and some of the uh the uh, outerwear, you know, that had gone bad. I had to replace that. Uh the main thing was I had all of these wonderful rain gear and merino wool and and hiking pants. And I couldn't find any of them. And I was like, "Wow, what happened to all my stuff, man?" Cuz you know, I know I moved it down here cuz you know, I really haven't used it that much since I got here 3 years ago. You can see, see what I'm talking about, how the Florida Trail is just kind of meandering next to the bike pass. So it's hardly not even worth hiking through here. But uh, but anyway, I had to finish this story. So, you know, I told my wife, I said, get going. And I said, I don't want to spend the money to buy new rain jackets, you know, because these are the, the really the go light uh, expensive as hell rain jackets. I mean, these aren't the, the simple stuff you go to Walmart and buy. And uh, I said, man, I said, I really need them for... You know, if I get caught in a storm out on the motorcycle, the auto motorcycle, excuse me. And uh, so she goes, you know what? Hold on. And so she goes into the, the guest closet and pulls out, uh, you know, one of them big, uh, you know, bins that you use to just put stuff down in. You know, I never even thought. And what she had done was I had all that stuff hanging up in the guest closet. She decided she needed room in that guest closet. So she had taken it all off the hangers and stuffed it down. <laughs> Down in this damn thing. Now for six months I looked for that stuff. And you know, all of a sudden it just pops into her head that she took all of my stuff, my you know, hiking gear. I mean, this is probably a thousand, thousand five hundred dollars worth of hiking clothes and you know the rain jackets and uh uh you know expensive jackets, you know, hell just the, the kinetic jacket alone is hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars, you know, and uh and she pulls it out and she goes, Oh yeah, see, here it all is <laughs> Oh man, I just, you know, what do you do at that point? I mean, you're just going to bitch at them. You're just going to like look at them like, why? Why? I mean, for six months I looked for that stuff. What is wrong with you? You know, <laughs> you just, <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad I got it. I got it all now. Uh, another quick story. Uh, well, you know, let's wait till we get a little further up the trail and uh, I'll tell that story in a minute. See what I'm talking about? You might as well just hike up to the bike trail. I did a little jogging. I had a woman in front of me, and uh, she got in front. That was cool. Then she got to pecking away on her phone. <laughs> Everybody's got to peck away on them phones. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, uh, the other story was, uh, I don't know if you saw the video where I was doing maintenance south of the Marshall Swamp uh, parking area, and uh, I saw those big holes in the ground, and something had been digging. So I went to the VFW, and I'm just sitting there, you know, we they socially distance, you know, we're good 8, 10 feet from each other, but yeah, you can have a conversation, and finally a guy, and I don't, I hope it's true, I mean, because uh, I'm going to be taking precautions from this point on, but he said those are wild pigs that are digging up back there, and in fact, uh, he said uh, one time he was hunting, and one of the pigs charged him, and uh, he, uh, luckily he had his weapon, and he said, I... I killed it within, you know, 15, 20 feet of getting to me. He says, that thing would have really messed me up if I hadn't had my, my gun along. So anyway, I guess I'll have to, uh, when I get back in there to finish up, hopefully the third, this will be the third day. Got to wait for some dry weather, though. It's too wet. It just rained here like two days ago. And uh, so, you know, it's kind of, that's the hard part about doing the trail is it's seasonal. And uh, not only that, you know, I, I don't want to be back in there when it's, I can't really cut down all of that grass with the weed eater when it's wet so I got to kind of wait for things to dry out and uh, we'll get there but uh, from this point on I will be packing back in there because you know I, I, I'm not really worried about the bears uh, and then of course another buddy of mine who's you know they got panthers back there too you know now, I've, never, <laughs> I've never heard of a panther <laughs> you know and snakes they got everybody's hunting snakes I I love snakes man I think they're cool but uh, yeah, there's a bike trail right there. So, you know, luckily we won't be doing this section of the Florida Trail uh, ever again, you know, because I just would hike on the bike path. I can make better time and there's just not a lot to see here. 
All right, we'll cut off for now. I, I had a couple other stories on the tip of my tongue. I'll think about them and uh, we'll wait till about another mile or two up the trail and make another piece of video. All right, so <clears throat> we're coming up on the, the first road crossing. It's been a while since I've been here, but I think, yeah, yeah. We're gonna show you this whole biking area over here. Really cool. Man, I wish I was young and I could go in there and just pound away. Now, the, I didn't show you on the video the bike trails. Let's just swing around. Don't need to look at my ugly face. Uh, this this is continuing. Now you notice that we've well that's a horse trail. It says no bikes. So you know you do have an intersection of the trails right here. Uh, but I, I want to ride these bike trails. I have uh, not by design. I got two bicycles. I got one for the road and one for for mountain biking. Now you can see here's a nice little area where you can you can sit and enjoy. And uh, well you see the bikes right over here. So we'll get some video of that. Um, once I figure out where to, where to go, because I'm, I'm at a crossroads here, which way the Florida Trail's going. So we're up here in the biking area, and uh, you know, once again, why are you cutting this? Why are you wasting all your money? And you know, maybe you could fly an airplane in there, you know, or <laughs> I don't get it. You're never gonna see anybody, but maybe some might, might see some people throwing a Frisbee from once every year or so. But uh, here's a picture of of this area um, now what we're gonna do later on is uh, I'll come back in here and on my mountain bike and we'll make a mountain bike video okay we've done some asphalt trails on my street bike and uh, and of course I still got to do the Santos trail for you on the street bike but I just wanted to tell you man if you as a young person oh my god you could just you could just have some fun all oh, back in here there's uh, all kinds of uh, neat things to do on a bicycle. I've hiked it. Of course, I never rode it. And there's, man, you see some of these guys. Wait, wait till you see this, uh, this biking area. It is just exceptional. You know, so here's a, I mean, they got these little obstacles and stuff. You can go across, uh, you can kind of see here. Let's just get this first one and then I'll get back in here. It's just like a little bike park. Uh, and boy, you use it. As a young person, you could really—I mean, these guys are outfitted too. They got hell. They got motorcycle helmets on to ride some of this. A lot safer than than what I used to do when I was skateboarding. You know, we had those stupid little skateboard helmets. But you can see, you can go up over top of that. Here, here comes a guy. Look at this. Man, look at that. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> here he goes. Check him out. Oh, he didn't hit the second one. All right, let's let's keep on going. Boy, I missed it. Daggone it. I've got to be ready for these videos. But you can see, man, you can come through here and have a lot of fun. But this guy was catching some air. He he hit this one over here and went completely over top of it. Hit the second one way over top of it. Man, talk about having some fun. Of course, you know, I don't want to get their face on the video, but I don't think they would mind from the side or from the rear. And, uh, all right, let's keep on going. All right, here we go. Check him out. Man, wouldn't that not look like fun? Oh my God, as a kid, I would have been took, took, took the turn down here. He's going over here. And he's coming up that. There you go. Boy, even back in the day, they just biked right up that. Look at that. That's, uh, I guess they're gonna do the jump again. All right, so I did want to get, we're kind of moving into this section here. And uh, you know, more, more of the same jumps back in here. Lots of guys having fun today. It's good to be in Florida. We're free here, baby. Free here from Pumpkin State. All right. While well, we're waiting for him, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. All right. Wow, that was cool, wasn't it? Here comes another one. Oh, yeah. Now the trail goes way back in here. So, but anyway, <coughs> we're supposed to be doing the Florida Trail. But uh, I did want to get some video of this. This is pretty cool. A couple guys going through here. Man, this would be a fun area, wouldn't it? Here, I've got one more, one more spot I want to get. All right, here we go. We've got some other guys that want to do a little craziness here. Because look at that. Oh, my God. Wait to see. Whew. Look at that. He just went up that. That's insane. All right. All right, well, that's, uh, that's enough. we got to move on to the Florida Trail. Some of this stuff just looks crazy to me. I mean, look, 
if you came that, you're going to go off the end of that. If you came up this ramp, man, you could almost hit that tree limb right there. And then you got to come right back into this, I guess this bank turn, you'd have to kind of go to the right and then go around it, I suppose. And then you got all of this over here. And then the trail, I saw some guys heading back into the woods here, but that's enough on the bicycle stuff. We got to get back on the Florida trail. I just hiked up that. Can you imagine biking up that? Holy moly, these guys are awesome. And then, oh, here we got a guy right here coming into this area, kind of cut down this way. And uh, let's just keep going. Helmets required, no crap. <laughs> you better you better have some elbow pads and knee pads too, in my doggone opinion. But it kind of winds in here. Now look at this. You talk about fun. That's pretty recent wood. In 19, yeah, 2019. But yeah, look at this ramp coming in right here. And then zoom right down that sucker. Oh, that'd be fun. And there's the trail kind of going on that way. All right, I swear that's the last one. I just had to get this. Okay, I lied. There's a, I don't know what those tarps are for, just to prevent, prevent erosion. You know, be kind of, you got to pull them off, if I guess, every time. But check this out. Can you imagine, we're just going to walk this. Can you imagine biking this? I mean, if your bike falls off it, you're, man, that's, you can, you're going to hurt yourself. But, uh, you know, I think it's great. I think it's great. I mean, as a kid, with no fear, man, I'd be doing this. Hell, I'm scared just walking across the doggone thing. So, anyway, let's, uh, all right. So then it comes in right here. And uh, I guess you're supposed to ride across those little bridges. And look at that. That is crazy. Wow. These guys are, man, they got my respect. Total respect. You know me and the spiders. It wouldn't be complete without a spider. Can you see him? I'm going to zoom out a little bit and bring the phone in. Ooh. All right, I'm back <laughs> after the, the biking detour. Got, but I just had to show you that. I, I didn't even show you probably half of it. The all that goes back in the woods and everything else. But this is where we came across the road. Now, there's a there's a horse trail. One guy was telling me I hiked the horse trail. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's got to be the Florida Trail. So if you come out into this, this fork area where the bikes and horse trails and everything cross... You boom right here you just pick it up right here so we're gonna get back into this I, I just <laughs> you know my, my wife I'm thank God she doesn't watch these videos but uh, getting back to her you know so the other day you know I said yeah she's planning a trip to go around the world with her sister and uh, man thank God I, I'm not being asked to go, <laughs> and go on that trip <laughs> but but I, I like it here man I don't I don't want to go anywhere I, I just enjoy myself but uh, so I said, yeah, you know, now that Trump's got that vaccine coming, you uh, you, you might be able to get going. But in, uh, you know, April or March, March, April, May, somewhere around that time frame. Trump, Trump didn't do anything. The uh, the insurance, um, the, uh, you know, the, the uh, drug companies, they did all that on their own. I said, where are you getting your news, man? I said, no, what do you think? They did it out of the kindness of their heart? No, it was your taxpayer dollars led by the Trump administration that put it Operation Warp Speed. I said, if you haven't even, you haven't even heard of Operation Warp Speed? Oh, that's just, that's just fake news, fake news. Well, you know, I mean, everybody's talking about the vaccine. Oh, here we go. I got a, a guy that didn't get you on the video, thank goodness. Although I'd love to have the dogs on there. All right, so we, uh, we passed the person there. So I, I just, I'm like, where in the hell are you getting your news from? And I guess, you know, what they do is with these phones, these Android phones, it just leads you to the Google news. So most people just don't get anything about what's going on. The other thing that's big in the news now is, and I've been telling everybody hydroxychloroquine, you know, back when Trump said, oh yeah, we can use it. They're saying we could have saved 75,000 lives if the media hadn't. I mean, it was so bad. You know, hey, YouTube, you're going to ban my video because I said the word hydroxychloroquine. I mean, they banned all YouTube videos that said the word. And uh, so I just don't see the... I get so <laughs> so few people watch this. Hydroxychloroquine, yeah. So they, and so now the medical associations come out and said, hey, you know, it's a good thing. And uh, in fact, if we'd been using it, we could have saved 75,000 people. What the hell, you know? Just because Trump said it, they had to they had to ban it. And... I just, uh, man, I tell you, half the half the country gets one set of news, and the other half of the country gets the other set of the news, and you just gotta shake your head and go, like, you know, you need to to pull your. I, look at all news sources, okay? Look at NTD. I, yeah, I watch a little bit of CNN, and then when they get off on a tangent that I just know is just fake news, I just cut it off. But uh, 
you know, and of course I see NBC occasionally, I tune into that, you know. So, I mean, but they just will not watch anything but what the Google Android phone presents to them. All right, that's enough, but uh, it's good to see it. By the way, I haven't not done this section of the Florida Trail. So we're, if you notice, we're getting further and further and further away. So probably the next uh, two or three hundred, four hundred miles of the trail, I'll be able to just ride my bike out in the morning and then we'll hike a portion, unless I run into what I ran into south of the Marshall Swamp area where I have to, you know, have to cut the trail in to hike it. Um, which I, you know, I don't mind doing. It's a good hard day at work, but boy, it's really slowing me down. You know, up in here, this, these are well traveled by people. And so the trail crews come back in here and maintain these. And actually for about a hundred miles going this direction, uh, we won't, I won't have to do any maintenance. We're just going to be hiking and seeing what's on them. And I'm really thrilled to be hiking this at last. Now, of course, I've done the bike trail uh, 70 miles that way. And I have hiked little pieces of the Florida trail. Uh, but, you know, like I said, only certain times of the year that you can hike this because, you know, we don't maintain it during the summer. So you couldn't actually hike this in the summertime. I mean, you could if you outfitted properly, but uh, it's not much fun and it's hot and the bugs are out. And, you know, this time of year, it's, it's, it's 55 degrees today and, uh, man, not a bug on me. I love it. I love it. In fact, I've been hiking so fast and doing a little jogging that uh, I, all I got on is a short sleeve shirt. Okay, the video's getting long. I'm sorry. All right, well, we're coming up on the end of the day, unfortunately. That's a thing. Man, who in the hell invented daylight savings time? So stupid, but I, I'm out here almost an hour and a half, two, two hours. I got to turn back. It's, it will be dark before I get back. Maybe I can make one of my videos there. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. Very nice with the pine needles. Got the sun glistening. You know, this, this is the beautiful thing is you know what I tell you once you get away from the main sections you know where everybody goes every, people are creatures of habit you know everybody goes to the same thing and enjoys the same spot yeah I'm not seeing a single person back in here and uh, you know I probably should be packing because there are bears back in here um, so but uh, actually that was perfect timing because what I'm gonna do this is a horse trail coming up I guess I can I'll go ahead and make a left here because that'll cut me back to the bike trail and uh, and then I got about an hour and a half hike back to the car so but this will be where we pick up on the next time I'm out this way you know that's one of the nice things about you know doing the Florida Trail is you know look at it yeah this is just a nice day for a hike and uh, I, I really enjoyed it you know getting back to the news blackout <laughs> you know, it was funny because you know I told my wife I said you know isn't it funny how Hunter Biden's all over the news now and she goes, that's Russian disinformation. I said, what does Russia got to do with Hunter Biden? No, that's just uh, Trump. You know, you know, Trump was a Russian spy. I said, well, that's all been disproven, sweetie. I said, that was all a hoax. No, it hasn't. He just, uh, they, they wouldn't do anything to him. The, uh, the FBI, they're all in cahoots with Trump. I said, no, <laughs> no, they're, they're in cahoots with Beijing Biden. They hate Trump. But, uh, oh, man, I tell you, the conversations you have with the liberal mind, it's just uh, astounding, you know. You, I said, you think anybody in government really likes Trump? Well, they, they certainly must because he should be in jail for being a Russian spy. I said, honey, that is all, you know, been disproven. I, I don't care what you say. I listen to the news. I said, well, you, you listen to the doggone fake news. That's for damn sure. But uh, anyway, I didn't want to get too political. But I... Uh, I mean, I hope I'm going back to the bike trail because uh, if not, it's going to be really, really dark. And, you know, that's funny thing. Another thing about being married to a liberal wife, you know, is uh, she'll sit there and go, how could you be out hiking when it's dark outside? I said, well, number one, I have a headlamp in my hiking bag. So, you know, I can always throw the headlamp on and see where I'm going. And number two, you know, usually I hike, I time it just right so that when I turn around, it's either getting dark or is dark when I get back to the car because... I want to maximize the use of my day because, you know, that is one one thing. You know, it's, it is, I don't want to call it a sacrifice, but, uh, you know, if you're going to do hiking like I do, you know, you're, you're basically giving up a whole day. It's just like playing golf, you know. You get on the golf course, you know, you do 18 holes, you're looking five, six hours. And then if you eat, you know, another couple hours. So, you know, you're, you're pretty much from, from the time you get up till the time you get home for dinner, you know, your whole day is gone. Same Same with hiking. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, because, you know, unlike golf, I can't just throw my golf bag in the car. Each uh, each hike is is massively different. 
you know some hikes I have to have all the, the gear on uh, you know with the with the, uh, the hiking shoes and and uh, even you know in the cold weather here I made sure I pack some extra clothes so I can layer up if I have to because yeah, it will get cold before I get back to the car um, sometimes I carry water a day like today I don't bring any water I just make sure I hydrate really really well before I get on the trail but uh, that's enough of that and uh, this video is too long as it is we'll uh, we'll stop right there and uh, see you when we get back to doing the trail again so this is how easy it is to scare a liberal <laughs> I've been hiking this trail for three years I ain't never seen a bear. In fact, there's so dash dang many people that bike these trails, hike these trails, horses riding through here. If there was a bear, he's miles and miles from here, I can guarantee it. But uh, of course, my wife and her sister, there's bears there, there's bears there, oh my gosh. All right.